I'm Theodore Cooper, Commander in Chief of the Do Better Squad. So, just a friendly reminder, I go live Monday through Friday, 8 30 a.m. Eastern Time. Back with another one from The Godfather. Let's get to it. <laughs> <laughs> She started to call on some bullshit. Hello. <laughs> what is Hello, she doing? How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. How old are you? 33. 33. All right. So, why'd you come on saying, ha, 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 what's up? Oh, um, I didn't even know you saw that. So, literally, as soon as I press request, then I got accepted. You can already tell we're dealing with a 33-year-old teenager. Okay, so... Uh, would you rather be right or would you rather have a man or do you plan on living with a woman for the rest? And we're living with a woman till the end. And, and those are my only three options that I have to answer, right? Well, either you're going to have a man, but if you got to be right, you ain't going to have a man. So if you don't have a man, you either you're either you're going, to be, or either you're going to live by yourself, that means you got to be rich or you're going to live with a woman. Got it. So... If those are my three options, then being right is not necessarily what I would put as top priority. But it's just that it's, it feels like you're forcing me into a box. Yeah, it's because what if I wanted to live with a cat? Hey, yo, what the fuck? <sighs> Childish. Look at her goofy ass. There are um, other options, right? Not really. Because regardless of what sort of animal you decide to live with, the point is, uh, what is your ability to live with a man like most women, like women of other races can tend to cohabit with their men? What you gonna do? I mean, I would love to cohabitate with my man if when, when you know, and, and so being right all the time seems like that would be something that would not have me cohabitate with anyone. You know, you have to be able to compromise and, and being right is not necessarily important. That's not something that you should prioritize. It's, it shouldn't be, but how often do you know, realize that when I go back and forth with women, they need to be right? First off, I am one of those women who are in support of women, so I you a feminist? understand. You're a feminist? Sisterhood. No, please. Don't put me in a box, Mr. Sanders. Uh, I'm going to no, know. See, first of all, I need you to back up off the camera. And recognize I'm talking to an another adult, and adults realize that things get put in boxes. We don't do this over here. Everything is subjective and variable, and everybody's a special snowflake. There are general things that are generally true, and if that's not a, what we're going to do, then we can't have a conversation because there's nothing to be talked about. Okay, so then no. You're a supporter of women. You're a supporter of women. What does that mean? That means that. I understand where women are coming from when they talk to you the way they do. Um, really? I, I get it. I get it. I, I would not. I think that we or the, the women that I've seen speaking to you may be getting in there, you know, getting emotional about things. Um, mm -hmm. But I understand why people could get emotional. Yeah, because um, they're wrong. Just, <laughs> Generally because they're wrong and they're losing their argument. Or maybe something that they haven't identified about themselves is, you know, being triggered and they may not understand what, what that is. Either way, wrong, not what People who are winning an argument don't typically get in their emotions. Because, see, I, I, get, I get spoken to by several groups of women. Right. But the women you tend to hope, people tend to focus on are the ones that are combative and argumentative. Well, I'm sorry, I can't see. I really, I really did not expect. So, okay, so. <laughs> Glass is thick. Mars black. Back to the, back to the original, back, or, or where, do, where do we go now? Where do we go? Where's from? Michael Jordan? I, I saw you on this Nike commercial back in 1984. That was the shit. <laughs> <laughs> that Spike Lee joke went way over her head. Seriously though, seriously. You say you're a supporter of women. Um, yes. I'm a big supporter of women. Oh, I, I, I think I, you know what? I no, no, I'm a supporter of women. I'm a supporter of your right for place. Okay. Where is that? I would like to know what you think too. I mean, my right. No, no, where, right. where is it woman's, where is it? Are you a Christian? It's a yes or no question. I grew up Christian. Are you a Christian? I mean, are you still a Christian? Are you a practicing Christian or not? No. All right. What is a woman's place on the planet then? 
thriving and surviving. Well, I mean, I don't, you know what? Your questions are so. What can a woman survive? What can a single solitary woman survive on her own in nature? I mean, I guess if, if that's the case, then we need a partner to continue life. You cannot, no, no. You, when I ask you where is a woman's natural place in society, you say thriving and surviving. And the next question I ask you is where can a woman do that on her own? And you contradict that point, meaning your point, your point isn't thriving and surviving. Your point is under your men. Because without us, you can't survive. Without you, we simply can't reproduce. Well, what if I, I mean, I, that, so in order to survive, that means that I would need to learn how to grow my food, drink, get, get water, uh, you know, set up some traps or something so that something- Okay, can, so let's start with number one, three minutes without air, three, three days without uh, water, three weeks without food. Do you know how to build a fire? Yes. Okay, well, so okay, what, what state sorry. do you live in? I have a tool. There are two. What state do you live in? Michigan. Michigan. Detroit area? Yes. All right, so if all the if all the men if all the water stop shut down right now, where would you go get water? I would have to go up north to the fresh lakes, to the lakes. Okay. It's and a lot far, of lakes around here. Mm -hmm. And how far is that from? Mm, um the the freshest lake that I would drink from maybe two and a half hours two and a half hours to get water okay you go drive two and a half hours all right now the power grids and everything else shut down no man's running it's just women you go out there and you get the water you know what do you do with it after you acquired the water what do you do with it i i would drink it i would store it i would and you would die <gasps> why kept mr samuels well you tell me, what, you think you can just drink lake water? Eat. Yes, yes, you do. Yeah, and you would die. The microbes, the bacteria will kill you. Okay. But why are we going so survivalist with this right because now? Because it's the point of you women don't, you can't survive without us because you can't even get the basic things. You can breathe because the, the creator is giving you enough oxygen. But why are you You said, I would have to get my own water, grow my own food. Before you could even grow your food, you die of thirst in 72 hours because as soon as you drove two and a half hours up to the lake, burning up your gas, burning up your finite resources, you go to the lake, take the water, and because men have civilized the world in general, y'all just think, just drink. And as soon as you do that, you be dead. The microbes, the bacteria, knock you out. Oh my gosh, Mr. Samuels. Man. I've just shown you, just like so many women, y'all, you guys, uh, because you can turn on a light, you don't realize that you need us for survival. It is not even your instinct to think about how, your instinct is just this, women's natural instinct is to say, there's water, not but, is the water safe? Is the water potable? Y'all don't even think this anymore. Yeah, but you know what? I, I think there's a lot of men, especially like- See, and, they, and, 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 and I was about to say exactly. Here's what she's gonna do next. She's gonna say, well, men do it too. But see, here's the thing. If the man were to drive up two hours, there'd be another man with him saying, you can't drink that. We understand how to manipulate. Listen, man. Understand. Look, I don't want you to think I don't want you. I need you. I well, need I think, you. well, it's not, a, it's, so when I say that woman's natural place is under her men, not thriving and surviving, your place is with us or else you don't live. Okay. Don't say all men, don't say all women. I'm gonna say all men, I'm gonna say all women. Because the bottom line is this, women have gotten to a place in the world to where you honestly, men are, are, are to you guys, it's like almost a luxury until you realize that unless you're making enough money to replace two incomes, how are you gonna get from the age of 65 to 85? Do you have enough money to, to survive? Or like most women, the government, somebody will do it for us. Men live in a world that we know that, that nobody's coming to save us. Okay. Do you, do I, you? I, I, have no, I have no issue with saying that um, women need men, but I just, you know, I, I mean, I would agree. I would disagree with you when you say that you don't need us and you just need us to reproduce. I mean, that's a continuation. We don't need of, you to survive. You know, that's we how don't need you to survive. Okay. That's why I said we don't need you to survive. See, why am I making this point? 
because many modern yeah. women think men are a luxury instead of a necessity. I said many modern women think men are a luxury because you have a job and because you can earn money. But your but women who think like this, their man is the government, the system. If someone was to come to their house, their apartment, whatever, and to try to enter it, the first thing they would do is pick up the phone and dial 911. They would not expect a woman to show up. They would expect a man to come. That's a fact. If it was on fire, they'd call the fire department. They would not expect a woman to show up. They'd expect a man to come. Everything that a man used to do has been outsourced just because you could pay for it. So now it's like, well, I'll only pick a man that I like. He has to be this, he has to be that. Instead of having a man for survival. The average woman earns what in this country? Less than $30,000. Okay. So even if you take in our community, let's say the average woman, let's just say for sake of argument, $50,000. And that's, that's high. How does a woman get from one part of life to the end of life on a $50,000 income after retirement? Am I supposed to answer? I, I just feel like you have the answer for everything. Well, I want to know. She's made $50,000 every year. In 65, she has to return. How does, how does she go from 65 to 85? I mean, there's multiple ways to make streams of income. Like, I pride myself on how many streams of income I have. Like, there's there's so many options. I just think she made $50,000, man. Like, most women don't have multiple streams of income. Most people have one stream of income. It's a job. She made 50,000 off of however many streams, 50,000. And that's almost twice as much as the average woman makes. At 65, retirement age, how does she live the next 20 years? It's just so many options. You can invest your money. You can, you can like, like right now, crypto is a great game to hop in. You're not getting it. You're not getting it. If she's made okay. $50,000, she's able to pay her rent, mortgage, a car note. She's living effectively paycheck to paycheck. Man, in Detroit, you are not living high on the hog at $50,000. There's no investments at $50,000. It's paycheck to paycheck. It's $1,000 a week. Facts, right, so I'm in Detroit. You're getting by on 50 grand. That's about it. I would not take crypto investment from this lady of all people. Right, but you, what I'm saying is she can take some of that money, right? That she, like, she's, she doesn't have to spend all of that money that she, yeah, she does. Paycheck, paycheck, paycheck. Okay, let's talk about it. How much? Okay. No, because you would have to li you would live below your means. So that you can say. How many people making $50,000 a year in this country have investments? I mean, I, I don't know, Mr. Samuels. I don't know. What I mean, I'm telling you is what I'm showing you. What I that's my point is the average cost to live. That is why you need two incomes because it is okay. physically impossible to get enough money post retirement on one salary. So if a woman is making fifty thousand dollars, even if she has an apartment and it's fifteen hundred dollars a month, that's eighteen thousand dollars a year in a car note. At thirty fifty thousand dollars, you bring me home after taxes. What? 35, 36, that's not that's three thousand dollars a month. If your rent is 30 to 40 percent of that, car, utilities, groceries, health, and insurance, you're not getting rich. It's paycheck to paycheck, effectively the working poor. And that means if nothing happens and she just has to retire, she's not had any you don't can't invest any money if you're living paycheck to paycheck. There's no investments. So that means when the income stops, where's the next 20 years of money gonna come from? And what you're showing is that the next, we don't know. We're not playing for it. We don't have enough. I think that, I mean, people know, there are people, there are women, there are multiple people who know how to live be below their means. There are people who know how to, uh, you know, get into, Real estate or or or, or things. Man, what's the average net worth of a, what's the what's the average what what is the average net worth of a black a forty year old black woman in this country? Forty year old, oh so forty year old black woman in this country. What's her net worth? I don't know, sixty thousand. I'm guessing five dollars. I'm wait what wait what one two three four five dollars. Oh net worth, gotcha. Okay, that's 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 five. terrible. It's reality. In the black community, our dollar circulates less than six hours. In the next community, it circulates seven days. Ma'am, what I'm saying is to women, 
You yeah. cannot afford to not have a man. You're going, unless you're making $125,000 or more from age 35 on through, you're not going to have enough money to invest, to save, to do anything, to have any kind of retirement. And that's the point because the world has told women you can have everything and that the end will never come. Women tend to think just like the water example, that it's simple, it's not. If you make $50,000 as a woman, by yourself, women cost more as they age. This is why our community is jacked up and our women, due respect, the questions I'm asking really shouldn't be hard, but because no one's made our women sit down and run the numbers of, all right, if you don't, if you don't, if you're not gonna be with a man, you're gonna have a cat, who's gonna pay the bills? You and your cat, who's gonna pay the bills? <laughs> Fair question, right? Me and my man that I need. No, 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 no. But you got a cat or a dog. You you can't, you, you've chosen a cat or a dog. You can't cooperate with a man. Listen, I didn't know how far we could take it, but if I'm going to operate in your rules and in your, you know, in your world, then I'm willing to do that. I, I just, you know, I just thought that there would be another option. That's all. The point is, man, unless you are a high earning woman, being with a man is not optional if you want to live to the end of retirement. It's not optional. Unless you're making over six figures, who's gonna, where are you gonna get your money from, from, from 60 plus? I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted in the comments. Um, Why are you looking at the Correct, comments? listen, hey, I, I guess I, 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 they just, it's just popping up like crazy, all the hearts and everything like that. Thank you for that. Um, you know, the hearts are the, comment, the, the points I'm making. <laughs> there were a lot of different comments all over the place. I'm so lost. Okay, I'm okay. all right. You're, you're talking. I, I'm running the show, and I'm not looking. At it. Okay. I'm trying to have a, a serious okay. conversation for the. Community. How old are you? Thirty what? I'm look, so listen. Can how I? Old I how old are you? I don't remember. How old are you? How old are you? Thirty-three. 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 So what do you do for it? I record audio books. I work for a tech company. I manage social media. I, I do. Yeah, When's the last time you got a job. W2 job? I currently hold a full time. I'm doing a 40 job. hour, like a 40 hour week W2 job. It's yes, okay. uh, cr present. All right. Are you making in excess of $100,000 a year? No. Are you making less than $75,000 a year? Mm, I'm no. Yes. I know. No, no, I'm doing my taxes this week though, and that's the goal. I'm, I'm. Bottom line comes down to this. Bottom line comes down to this. If you were never to marry, if you were never to marry, and you had to retire at 65, and you lived to 85, how much money would you need from 65 to 85? Um, how much money is that? You, what, you, I, you said it. You've said this number before. Yeah. Um. Uh, you you said something the other day about a million dollars, but then we would. But I'm asking million, you at 33. At 33, how much do you think? How much do you think you'd be? From 65 to 85 to retire. Um, let's just say. So what's that? 20 years. Um, and I'm like not that much of a. So let's just say I would need like grand a, or 50 grand a year to live off of for 20 years. So then what's that? Like a million bucks? Forgive me, I don't know. What's the math? Well, if you if you were making fifty thousand dollars, that's a million dollars. And the okay. average fifty thousand dollar so that's what I just said. The average fifty thousand dollar a year earner will not have a million dollars to retire on. Okay. They can't make enough. There are no investment vehicles, and you need at least 1.6 to 2.4 because you have to adjust for inflation. There's not enough money to put in the vehicle. See, there's no way to overcome the math. I, you won't have enough to retire on. Ever, I'm trying to, ladies, understand something. Understand something. You have been allowed to go into the world to not have to take it serious. To be, I'm a this, I'm a that, I'm a this, I'm a that and robbing people to pay Paul. And at the end of the day, making money, not investing anything. And unless you, and if you're not going to be with a man and really build with a man, and how do you plan on getting your $1.8 million that you're going to need at age 65 to retire? $70,000 a year, you won't have it either. Well, I have a question though. So 
say okay. there are women who have you know who are currently investing and putting money into different vehicles and they just so happen to fall short of that one of that million dollars you know like so what like what so i i guess i just feel like i don't understand what we so no, okay why you say so what asking that? about what happens if this woman does have it and doesn't work does that make you sleep better at night i'm talking it's about women like everything so doom and gloom no, I make everything so grown goddamn real. Exactly. That's what I do. And that's one thing that we used to do in our community, deal with reality. And our women, sorry, are delusional. And they prefer to live in delusion. And when everyone speaks about things in a factual way, they call it doom and gloom, like this young lady did. Or they say you're being negative or you're being a downer. Well, no, we're just speaking in reality. But so many of our women choose delusion over reality, unfortunately delusional to the point to where you think that dealing understanding the math of life is doom and gloom the telling black women the truth that 200 pounds is fat you are being mean and toxic we are to the place in our community by simply being honest you want black men to be canceled bang, bang, it's good That's how far we fallen, people it's doom and gloom to talk about retirement claiming it's doom and gloom Okay then, I'm, I'm, we plan, if, we, if we never talked about it, if we never talked about it, would it be better to never talk about it? And then you look up and you're, six, and you're 55 years old and you've got $30,000 saved up, $50,000 saved up, $100,000. At the end of your career, at the peak of your earning potential, because it's nobody's responsibility. I think one of the things I find interesting, folks, is this is what you hear. A man who sits down and talks about verifiable facts, data, statistics, it's doom and gloom. So what are we saying? That you were, well, are we saying that it's better to allow black women to live in blissful ignorance? To no. not talk about it? No, no, no. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is that putting forth the effort and, and having these conversations so that women do know, or you know, everyone one knows to invest in these things and to try to and to have numbers and have goals set to hit. Everybody knows what you said? Okay. No, no. I didn't say everyone knows. I'm saying that the conversation and having the conversation is, is much needed and much appreciated. Uh, the reason that I said doom and gloom is because it seems like if we don't hit that million dollars, then everything not, is over. Ma'am, the point is you're trying to do what, a, if you choose to not be with a man, one in four black women will marry. The reason women marry is for financial security. One in four of our women will marry. That means those three out of four that don't better make the money that two people would have made or else they are going to die alone on the street. There is no government coming to save you. Social security will be gone. And see, this is what's doom and gloom. I'm asking, all right, if, if, if every other woman, if every other race of woman is married at a rate of 54% or higher because they know I don't make enough money to live this life by myself. Black women chosen to not marry. So what is your plan for the rest of life? And now that you're just simply asking, acknowledge your choice. You want to, you don't want to marry, you want to be by yourself. You can't be an average earner because what you're really saying is somebody's not supposed to come save me from my choices. See, as a man were to do that, I'm going to be an average earner, not have enough money to retire on because I can't cooperate with a woman or whatever. You know what's waiting for him? The street. The park, the tent. It's a it's a serious, sobering reality that our women are not where they're supposed to be with their men, building, saving, planning for the end of life. Because so many black women act like modern children. Like it's hot girl summer, and I'm a black don't crack. And even though I'm 40 years old, I look like I'm 20. You're 40, and you're not planning for life to where even talking about the stuff that we should be talking about in high school. It's doom and gloom. And KS is cooking right now. And she, she ultimately missed KS's point, the bigger point. She seemed real stuck on that monetary amount of a million dollars. Larger point that he's articulating is that, lady, you need a husband. It, like majority of women will need husbands. And if you don't have the husband, that's when you really need the money. I don't know why she's missing that. Who's gonna pay the price for it though? Who's gonna pay the price for not knowing these things? We all are gonna pay the price. No, for women will. Oh no, black women will pay the price for it. Nobody else. Black women will pay the price for it. Because you gotta admit, you've been told, or you tell the world that you don't need, whether not you, 
the convention the, the average black woman communicates is I don't need no man. Fine. You better earn what you you better you better earn his income because you do need a man. You're talking about the image. The the image I'm saying you need a man, you need two incomes to get through the end of life. And if you're gonna say, I don't need a man, and you got one income, that income better be 120 plus thousand because you can't do it on what most black what most women make. It's simple yeah. man. So, and why is this all important? Because when you start getting down to what's important, this whole notion of being right, and he has to be tall, and sex gotta be good, all that kind of shit. This is a matter of either living on the street and eating cat food, or actually having a comfortable life from, 50, from retirement to your grave. And we're starting to see the first group of women living like this, homeless, dying alone. How old is your mother? 60. One, one. Are all the women in your family married? No, they're not. Are, are any of them independently rich or wealthy? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, and, and are any of them just average middle income earners? Yes. Do you know what the, how they're going to retire? I mean, you're not going to like my answer. My answer is full of... Uh, of optimism and, and sunshine, <laughs> you know, so. And bullshit. What's that? Either they made enough money or they didn't. See, there you go. Being real. Gloom and gloom. There's family. There's love. There's friends. There's. Oh, so it's somebody else's responsibility. So it's the person that did make enough money to come dig your grown ass out. Flipped it on a quick. Oh, my goodness gracious. What does that mean? Family. That means if, if this person over here, this, this pig built his house of straw. This pig built his house of, uh, of wood. This pig built their house of stone. So it's the stone pig responsibility for the, for the wood and the twig pig. No. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying, that it's the, this person over here who made fastidious choices to take this responsibility. I'm saying this because I'm actually seeing it in my family right now. I got aunts that are dying alone, broke, penniless, bad, off. Oh, man. But see, look, the norm. nephew, the norm. nephew, no. don't you want? No, no, don't give me that bullshit. Oh. Nephew, my ass, grown damn women who are rebellious their entire lives and still rebellious to this day. You need a car. Here's a car. Oh, I don't like that car. It's too big. It's a free car. <laughs> you know what? Stop. I Stop. Here's a free car. Person who ain't worked 20 years and can't do nothing and still, still rebellious. That is our culture. You can't even say nothing because you know it's true. Well, well, I'm waiting. Can I say something? I just had this conversation with my best friend about values, right? Because mm -hmm. we were talking about how values can be, you know, how people in a relationship have different values and identifying those values you know, can help as far as if, if the relationship can, you know, be compromised, get up, be healthy, you know, just like completely eliminating toxicity in the relationship if you can identify these values. And I think that you may not value love. As I don't give a about love. But. And neither do my no. grandparents. They didn't no. care about love. They cared about survival, duty, respect. We care too much about stupid like love that's why excuse me that's why black women are the last to marry the lowest married and when you do marry you marry less than five years about love it ain't about love would you rather have responsibility and duty and get your ass from one end to the life to another here's what y'all can y'all can worry about love y'all can deal with these disney notions no but, listen i'm sorry i'm just gonna say let me finish this y'all can deal with those disney notions our grandparents didn't worry about love. They needed something else. Go I'm ahead. not talking about love. I'm talking about altruistic love. Love that is all about caring about well-being, not romantic, lovey-dovey love. Yeah, I get that. that what do you mean altruism? Love. What altruistic love from who? From the people that are around you. That that like, I'm saying like a familiar Joker love. Tango. Like, that's you need why a family for yeah. that. That's why I called you nephew, because you was talking about your niece. You was talking about your no, auntie. No, 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 no. A nephew is not responsible for his aunt who chose to be rebellious.
See, that's not what that means. You don't get to go muck up your life and then go to somebody else just because you share a last name and DNA. Because if my uncle had done that, he couldn't go to his niece and get it. See, y'all, black men do not exist to fix your mistakes. If you could not come under co cooperation and leadership with a man during your life, don't come asking us to fix it now that you're at the end. No, well, okay, I, hey, okay. Because these very same people, you try to give them advice. Hey, what are you gonna do about retirement? I actually had an aunt that passed and I was like, you know what, you have no children, you never married, I'm concerned. Why don't you get a job, such and so forth? Oh, I ain't got that. All these jobs that offer me what I think I should get. You need money. Now you smoke a pack of cigarettes a day. You keep some cigarettes, but you can't get no job. All right, then what happens? I can't afford it. My mom can't afford it. Peter Paul, blah, 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 blah. What are you going to do if no one in the family? Well, if, if y'all ain't going to help me, I guess the Jesus house will be there. I'm sorry. So I got to go out and work myself, take for my family, take for my daughter, take for my future, because you got a grown person that don't want to do their part because of permitting no. See, that is not the woman or the kind of woman that my grandmother or my great grandmother raised. They don't recognize these sorry women. I can dig it. You're out, you're talking about self accountability and people being able to take responsibility for their own actions. That sounds one. That sounds great. Grandmother and grandfather did not have romantic love. They needed one another. And in our culture, women have been saying that they don't need the men, and that's only cool. It's only true if you make enough money to replace his income. You can't say you don't need a man if you don't make enough money to replace that income because when it's over, where's the money gonna come from? And the thing is, many in our, many women in our culture have not thought about it because it's always been something there, the government, the system. The system ain't got nothing left. It's the system. You know who, I, who I'm being when I say mm -hmm. that? I'm just saying, I mean, and, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm joking, but I'm like, when you're 33 years old, do you ever want to be married? Whether you do or don't, if you don't, how you plan on getting to the end of life? That's all I got to ask. With a whole lot of love and hope and praying and everything, like, I, but, but honestly, though, honestly, she like, praying got nothing to do with this. Look, I'm a You just said you weren't even a Christian. Pray to who? <laughs> she, she did say that. Pray to pray to God and my ancestors and everybody. And hold on, hold on, but you're well, not a Christian. Get, Which God? No, 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 stop. You, I asked if you were a Christian. You said no. So pray to who? God, spirit. Which God? Which God? Uh, the universe, the whole collective that we are, that we exist in. Flip it. This is why I say all the time on my live stream, I don't take religious people seriously. Everyone claims to be religious. The only thing religious about them is that they say that they're religion. They don't go to church. They don't practice the faith or anything. That's why I don't take religious people serious. Put it on World Star. Are you serious? Oh, Your I ultimate. I, I, I know it. you are. I, I, and I know it. That's scary. What? That is tremendously Ooh. scary. <sighs> well, I have a. My mother is praying for me. My my Christian mother and grandmother and. That's the worst part of this entire call was that moment right there. This moment right here made me realize something that I said at the beginning of the interview. That he was talking to a 30 plus year old teenager. That certified it right there. And KS's face says it all. all the Christian women that and men that came before me and my family, they have all covered me with a Christian love. Jesus Christ, we have failed. Facts, man. My God. I'm telling you, KS, I feel you. And the sad part is, she was dead serious. Very much so. I am going to need our women, at least 10% of y'all, to start shepherding the other 90% into seriousness. Are you a Christian? I was raised Christian. Were you a practicing Christian? No, I'm not a Christian anymore. 20 minutes later, do you want to get married? All right, then how do you plan on getting to the end of retirement? on your income because she got 75 different streams of income. <laughs> I didn't even press that, guys. I just let her say she made 75 plus. I didn't press it. Yep, I just accepted did. it. Even though my boot detector was going up, I didn't press it. And what did she say? Get there with a lot of familial love, a bunch of other unmarried women, and a bunch of prayer. How insulting is that to your higher power? Fuck. God only exists to... Mm, this is why when so many women talk about they're Christians or religious, I don't believe the modern woman because 
God is a studio. basically a Santa Claus. He, you're here to get you here to give me what I want. Cut it, clip it, put it on one side. Y'all saw that. Are you serious? It is doom and gloom to talk about you ain't gonna be with a man? Great. Then what's your plan? So I find it funny when people say he hates women, you hate women. <laughs> really? People who are telling you to buy their books and buy their courses. None of them is trying to talk to you about the kind and quality of life you're going to have. You want them to keep lying to you. So you can keep walking around acting like you got your together and it's okay. This is not okay. Not really much that I can add on to that. Women have the luxury of not taking life serious. They have that privilege. And unfortunately for this young lady, she's practiced that entirely way too much. And she wasn't argumentative. She didn't seem like a bad person. She seemed like a sweet woman, to be honest with you. But it's just that, that arrested development, never growing up. Also, when you dare to pull them out of their delusion and bring them into reality, they would say, hey, if you're not gonna get a husband, where well, you're gonna need X amount of money, how much money do you have? What's your plans on getting it? And it's no, it's doom and gloom. It's not doom and gloom, it's reality, but hey. What the hell do I know? I'm just a pothead talking on YouTube. You guys let me know what you think after party in the comments. You will learn to save your Theo Coop, but you can call me bitch. Bro. Uh, excuse me, bitches? Ha ha ha!